Hello, I'm Dr. Jones from drbean.com. Today we're going to be talking about the basic structure of the skull. What I'm going to do, very similar to the other anatomy videos, is I'm going to be asking a number of questions. Please feel free at any point to pause the video so you have more time to answer these questions. Perfect, so let's begin. So if we look at this region, so we're looking at the anterior part of the skull, we can start to see a number of different parts of the skull, so they're broken up into different bones. If we um, move more posteriorly, what we can actually start to appreciate is that this area here, so where I'm drawing the, um, the mouse, like a bit of a circle area, is going to be called your cranium. Perfect, so this area is your cranium. Whereas if we mo move more um, anteriorly, so this area here, that is going to be what's known as your facial skeleton. So the key point to begin with is the um, head and neck region is split into your, um, sorry, the, the skull region is split into your cranium and your facial skeleton. So if we move up to this region, we can see a feature kind of coming along here. Do you know the name of that feature? Okay, so that is going to be called your, well, it's a suture, first of all, but it's, it's called a coronal suture, to be more precise. So if we look from the very superior aspect and we look downwards, so anterior here, posterior behind, if I move um, the skull slightly into the middle, what we can see is that this coronal suture is going to be joining a number of bones. Do you know the name of these bones? So, if we move it slightly this way, anteriorly, you can see that the coronal suture are going to be joining your frontal bone, so one frontal bone, with the two parietal bones. So you've got the right parietal bone and the left parietal bone with the frontal bone. So perfect. If we move more towards the um, posterior aspect here, we can see another bone that's appearing. Do you know the name of this bone? Okay, so this is going to be the occipital bone. So your occipital bone is at the posterior aspect of the skull. So we've said that these are the parietal bones, these are the frontal bones, these are the occipital bones. So what is this bone then, which is coming in this region? So, so that's going to be your temporal bone. Perfect. So you've got your, you've got your left and your right temporal bone. So just remember that there are two temporal bones, there's one occipital bone, there's two parietal bones, and there's one frontal bone. Perfect. And then the one bone which we're not going to talk about too much in today's uh, video, but you can see it peeking through here, is going to be called your um, sphenoid bone. So you can see your sphenoid bone goes straight through. It's just one bone, but it pops out either side of the skull. So you can see it both laterally and anteriorly, if you look through the eyes, uh, the orbit, sorry, look for the orbit. So, if we look more inferiorly, okay, we will start to appreciate that there is this um, circular structure uh, here. So, does anyone know the name of that circular structure? So, let me click off the um, sphenoid bone. So, this circular structure here is going to be called your foramen magnum. Now, in anatomy, the um, way that we're meant to state bony features and foramina is to say the feature and then say of what bone um, it's from. So for example, f the foramen magnum of the occipital bone. So you can see the occipital bone is forming um, that, that foramen. Okay, so if we move down more to um, the anterior aspect and we come more to the temporal bone, Okay, we can see a number of different features coming off the temporal bone. So if I highlight the temporal bone again, you can see this structure projecting downwards. So this structure is also on the other side as well. So if we turn the skull around, you can see that this structure is on the left side here coming downwards. Does anyone know the name of that structure? Okay, so that's going to be the styloid process of the temporal bone. Perfect. And then if we look slightly more underneath here, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to um, remove 
uh, these. I'm going to just hide hide the next specimens very quickly, just so it's a little bit easier for us to see. Do do do. Give me a second. Okay, that's uh, better. I'm going to remove the hide one actually as well. I'm going to go to select. So um, yeah, there we go. We can see our foramen magnum of the occipital bone much easier uh, now to see. And also what we can see coming down this region here is going to be the base of the um, occiput. So the base of the occipital bone just in that region there. Guys, thank you very much for watching. Make sure that you like this video if you like it. If you don't like it, then do unlike. Like this video, subscribe to the channel and please share this channel with others as well.